Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. What's happening in this video is I'm going to be testing out Soft 99 Fuso Coat Dark Color Wax to hopefully find out if it's worth it. For me, Soft 99 was an eBay purchase and came to a total of $35 with free shipping. Straight away, off to a good start. But what I'll be looking for during the test, like most of the waxes that I try out, is its application, how well it makes the car look, how it comes off, and how well it repels water. Durability wise, it's been stated that it can last up to 12 months. Now during this video, I can't test this, so I can't 100% guarantee that. But it has been tested by the Soft 99 weather meter test. Now I'm really lucky as I get to work on a very special 2009 Mercedes SLK 350. As usual, I'll be doing a hands-free wash, hand wash, then claying it before doing anything with that wax. And that'll basically do for the intro, let's get straight into it. Like you, be strong, to hold the powers of the sun. This is what's encased. The wax is sealed away well within and it even comes with its own applicator pad. But it was a bit firm and I found it was a lot easier to use one of my own applicator pads for this job. Moving over to the car that's now all ready to go. This time I'll be doing something a little different. I'll be applying a layer of wax on one side only without you knowing to see if you can tell the difference. Going over it, I don't think anyone could tell. It's quite hard to pick up the small aspects visually within the two sides and I doubt anyone could pick up which side has the wax just yet. But once I give it a little bit of water, you can tell that one side is a lot more hydrophobic than the other. I can tell you now the left side was the one that received the coating and the water repelling ability was awesome. It hardly had any water left on it when I sprayed directly. Most of it, if not all of it, rolled off in large sheets and streams. While the other side did have some noticeable hydrophobic tendencies, I guess because of the clay bar, it still didn't come close to the wax side. So water repelling ability, big check. This is also a massive positive when it comes around to drying the car again too. I was curious to see if the wax could cover any of the slight paint imperfections. You may be able to catch a few marks within the paintwork beforehand, just very minute marks. 
I started applying the wax over the rest of the car. It was easy enough to do so, not needing much in the pad to work over the surface. But I was very careful not to hit any of the plastics, as it can make them look quite unsightly turning white. But I did have a solution, rather than taping up the areas, I simply follow it along with a clean, damp microfiber towel, just in case I hit anything with the wax that I shouldn't. When it came to removing the wax after waiting around 5 minutes or so, I did find that it was quite grippy, catching the plush microfiber towel, but it did come off after a few wipes. One side to remove the majority of it, then the other side to buff to a nice finish. Those marks that I noticed before were actually not as visible once I coated the surface, which was a surprise, although the car does need a bit of paint correction, but that can be for another video. Soft 99 really made this 350 stand out. It feels super slick and I can tell you that the owner is very pleased with the results. That owner being my dad. So to sum it up, it's a long lasting wax stating that it can last around 12 months. It's easily applied, goes a long way, with no worries when needing to wipe it all off. It gave the car a gorgeous wet look and it made the water run off as soon as it hit it. I had a bit of free time after working on the Mercedes so I decided to apply a coat on my car and it made it look like a mirror out in the direct sun. I'll definitely be getting some more and I would seriously recommend it to anyone out there wanting to try out a new wax. It only costs $35 and it feels and creates an end result that would make you believe it's worth a lot more. I'm not paid to say these things by the companies. If their product performs the way it should, then they deserve recognition. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it all and don't forget to check out some of my other uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all later.